Next one, Wind Brew. It seems that we must come up with a new special plan after all. Something the matter? Oh, it's you. Actually, I was just considering pushing out a new special beverage based on the Wind Bloom Festival. Everyone's going to be having fun in the city during this time, and I'm sure that they wouldn't mind having some food and drink to go along with that. However, they'll get drunk very quickly if they all drink. If all they drink is alcohol, and they'll be liable to get pulled aside by the knights until they sobered up. Also, they'll ruin the mood if the reek of alcohol is too strong. Huh, is that so? Well, I've heard that some people really enjoy that sort of hazy, drunken atmosphere, but falling over drunk by the roadside during a festival just isn't a good look. As such, I decided to create a refreshing non-alcoholic drink that's milk-based and filled with the flavor of the wind. To emphasize the flavor of the wind, I think that we could also use two special additions, dandelions and wind wheel asters. But we'll be here all day if I'm the only one going around collecting them. So, Traveler, could you help me collect some accessorizing ingredients? I'll get those dandelions. Thanks so much. I've heard that the dandelions of Star Slash Cliff are of rather fine quality, so do help me get some. I'll go collect some Windy Will Asters as well, and we'll meet back at here once we're done collecting our respective ingredients. We'll make the drink right on the spot and get a few people to try it out while we're at it. Alright, three sets of dandelions need to have to really go to the location. It's not tomorrow. Now, is it? It's like to change up. Is it objective here? <laughs> Anyways, all right. Now I wish I had Vendy so I could say, all right, all right. Yeah. Wish I could be Vendy so I could just, I could just do. Yeah, I wish I could play Vendy so I just do that. Oh, this is Cliff. Oh, he's picking up Cecilia's in particular. This Cliff is just amazing. Here we go. Let's see a couple, uh, a few Cecilias here. Here's, a, here's uh, four Cecilias. Great. All right, these flowers. This must be my favorite flower here. Cecilias. No, it's still one of the last years, actually. They're both on 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 my top two. All right here. Yeah. <laughs> no, actually, complete objective right <laughs> Oh my goodness. Game. Game something. Alright, did I, did I complete the objective? Did I collect a three when you last it? I mean, dead lion. Oh, wait, oh no! Oh, my love for Cecilia has grown so much. I lost track of what I have to do. What's in sight? No, I must not be distracted! No! Alright, here we go. Uh, Oh, that seems, I didn't see that. No way. Oh, all right, here we go. La la la. Oh, it's Yes. It's time for you. Here we go. Boring. We found the ingredients. These three. These are really rather fine. This is some very fine dandelions. I wonder what flavors we'll achieve if we use these in our blend. All right, looks like we got all the ingredients we need. Let's start blending our beverage. I wonder how it will taste. Oh, are you interested in trying out too? Well, the blending process itself isn't particularly complicated. You just need to follow the steps I've come up with and it should be a ringing success. So, want to try making it yourself, Traveler? Sure, I'll give it a go. Great, now, just let me explain the process of making this beverage. Make sure you remember it. First, place the sweet flour inside before pouring the base alcohol we're using for this cocktail. First, place, place the sweet flour and then pour the base alcohol we're using for this cocktail. And then, of course, we'll drizzle some milk and lay the foundation to the clear, sweet texture we're going for this time around. See so flour, base alcohol, and then milk. Well, got it. We'll need to add the wind blaster in at this point to add flavor. Don't rush it. Don't rush to mix it all together. Let it sit for a moment and let the floral fragrance emerge. Then scatter the dandelion seeds in to make the drink look like it's been adored with stars. And place some cubes in, and that's a wrap! <laughs> Alright, so dandelion seeds in, and then ice cubes. Oh. And that's how it works. 
You can get the steps mixed up if you want to make something delicious. If you memorize the steps, give it a go. If you've forgotten, feel free to ask me again. Over here? Oh, this is, this is actually quite new here. This is a different interactive. Here. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's start blending. Let's begin! Oh, I'm trying to remember. Okay, first it's place sweet flour, and then put the alcohol in, and then pour milk, and then put the lemon seeds, and then put the ice cubes. You know, place with the laster? Are you? You just asked me to. Oh, that would have been a And next up. <laughs> Or milk in. Hmm, and next up, place that one seed. Maybe wrong. Looks like we're almost done. There's ice cubes in. Hmm, and next up, that is it. Looks like we're almost done. Then we place the wheel last. I think that's that's a different joke thing, right? Uh, I don't know. Uh, let's sit for more. Uh, I think. <laughs> oh, we're that step. Let's break the market and have a little taste. All right. Ah, you're done with the blending process. And we're done. Hope that this is good. Special beverage that has just been brewed. Who knows how it will taste? Oh no, I think I messed up. It tastes a little astringent. The flavors don't seem to have melded together too well. Perhaps something went over during the blending process. Give another go, perhaps. If you have any questions, I'll be right here. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Go, 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 get, get this information fresh into the air. Okay, here we go. Let's see flower in. All right, next up, uh, is it down on seeds or sweet flour? I think it's, it has to be sweet flour. No, can, pour it, okay, here we go. And next up, we swing blaster in. Looks like we're almost done. Let's it. Hmm. And next up, it's time for the deadline seeds. Looks like we're almost done. Next up, we ice cubes in. <laughs> oh, that's that. Let's break the market and have, have a little taste. You're done with the blending process. And we're done. Special beverage. A special beverage that has just been brewed. Who knows how it will taste? It looks quite blue. I think this is dark one. Here we go. Don't, don't, don't say it. It's like the place. There's a slight sweetness to appear in the floor taste. There's also a cooling tester like that with the flowing breeze. The most fitting drink for the Wind Bloom Festival. I say made the right choice to bring you on board. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Next, I think this drink needs some taste sweet testers. Traveler. I will trouble you to go out again to look for some. I'll see this is done. I'll be relying on you then. I believe there will be tons of people near the animal Arkham statue. You can probably find some taste. You can probably find some testers there. Never mind. Oh, I remember you. Festivals just aren't complete without a little swig of drink. Neither. The cat cells come up with a new beverage. Oh, so you want me to test it, do you? <laughs> no problem. None at all. I'm an old hand when it comes to wine. Let me try it. <laughs> What's that for taste of alcohol at all? It's more like some sort of dairy product. Don't get me wrong, it tastes good, but I don't think a non alcohol drink really fits the festival. I mean, there are lots of people who are looking forward to getting reasonably drunk at this Flint Bloom Festival. I don't think this sort of drink would receive a particularly warm welcome. Hello, can I help you? Neither the cat cell come up with a new beverage. My apologies, but I'm on duty at the moment. I can't drink. This drink's non alcoholic. Ah! Oh. Well then, I guess it'll be fine. Feeling a little thirsty. In any case, I'll give it a go. Oh, this is pretty good. It's refreshing too. Really pricks you right up. This is a new product from the cat's tail, is it? I'll go have another taste later when I can spare the time. Do you want to play with me? Neither. The cat's tail come with a new beverage. The cat's tail. Auntie Grace says that kids shouldn't drink wine. Oh, this one's got no wine in it. Really? I'll give it a try. It's really nice, it's sweet, and it's cool! This is a new drink from the cat's tail! I'll tell Timmy and Lily too! I'm sure they'll look like some! How did it go? Were you able to find some taste testers? Oh, I found some alright. You're being recently drunk during the festival, huh? No wonder the crowd of the angel share has grown. Still, I think this is fine. Other than those who'd like to get recently drunk, the children of the city guards should get to enjoy their own fair share of festive chair as well. I'll continue tweaking the special blend. Thanks for your help, by the way. And here's a little something as thanks. Ah, uh, yes. Happy Wednesday Festival. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching. I hope you like this. I've just done some really ah, fancy voice impression today. In the last episode too. 
Oh, goodness. Oh, man. Act 2 done. Oh, that's the Oh, man. I can't wait for Act 3. I am so excited, guys. Are you too excited for Act 3? I am. Realm of Fog of Wind. Hopefully, I'll see some more of Venti. Uh, actually, not Venti. No. Bennett. I want to see more of Bennett. As well as Rosaria. Although, I should probably not get my hopes up now, actually. It's not a good idea. She wants to be on her own. She wants doesn't want to be with, with the, the group, so... Actually, I want to see more of Bennett. That's the right choice. And Barbara, too. Alright, see you guys and next time! Yay! Oh, is my camera? I didn't even notice that. Uh-oh. There we go, VTuber moment. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. <laughs> I mean, it's been there since it, the camera froze, right? So, anyways. Yeah, VTuber ending. <laughs> oh.